Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models. My name is Bobby Waldron, and in this video, we're going to be having an inbox review of Hazagawi's 148 scale EA18G Growler, and that is the VAQ130 Zapper Squadron. So, um, you know, nice looking kit here. <coughs> this kit in particular, it is based on um, the FA18H. Um, which is also by Hazagoe, and that was first new tooled in 2005. So it's about a 10 year old kit, so it's not mega old or anything like that. Um, but they have sort of like recently released it as the Growler version. So, uh, instructions they are very much typical Hazagoe instructions where they fold out into you know this big sort of sheet here not like a booklet like i prefer personally and we also have the typical has a go instructions where it is just all rammed right in there um and does sort of make it a little bit more complicated yes it does save on paper i suppose but um you do get there eventually with this kit but you have lots of nice options um you know it's a two-seater version we have all different flaps and slats we can move into different positions um, and then we have this massive array of sensors on here with all sorts of um, ALQ99s, low band, high band, um, ALQ218s um, and um, yeah I think there's two of them as well so there's lots and lots of sort of sensors with this which is the whole purpose of the Growler um, and then we have our markings for um, our growler just here the um, zapper squadron which does look rather nice so instructions you know typical and they will get you there in the end but as i say they're a bit compacted in there then we have our decals now these are typical hazagoe decals but they have got nice color to them nicely in registry um and yeah we'll probably get the um macro on the actual small writing here and just see you do have decals for instrument display panels uh, personally i wouldn't use these ones because they're just blanked out uh, which is a shame um, but yeah those decals um will probably be quite nice um but you're probably going to want to use mr mark softener and setter for them moving along with the first sprues what do we have? Well, first off, this is what basically makes this the growler, this sprue here. This is where we've got a load of different sensors on here, the ALQ99s and all them kind of things. Um, we do have a instrument display panel just here. Hopefully, as you can see, it is actually, you know, rather, rather good detail actually for out of the box. Um, then we've got another sprue here i do like how we do get you know a load of sensors we do get quite a few weapons with this loads of fuel tanks because i know has a gary in the past they'll take out all the weapons so you have to go off and buy their weapons separately and you know, open up the price um you do get a nice pilot with this as well which is a nice touch and the detail on this pilot is looking rather good for an out of the box pilot we've also got his head over here just there as you can see um, our exhausts they are looking a little bit plain but then in all honesty i mean um when you actually look at a real um fa18 i mean it does it i don't know it doesn't look as lively as most shall we say um so that is one sprue we've also got a double sprue of that just getting out the next couple of sprues all right this is where we get to look at some of the surface detail now so just bringing you in here we have our wing section and the the basically we've got the nice typical hazard gateway surface detail here we've got nice um, recess panel lines recess rivets they're very very crisp they're nice and deep to take a wash um, the plastic's nice and smooth so there's no need to sand out any sort of rough edges or anything like that um, you know we know it's going to be good surface detail and there's just loads of flaps and slats and everything all around this sprue 
moving along um, again we've got more sensors plus some air to ground missiles as well um, again same kind of surface detail going on with them um, more surface to air uh, sorry ground, uh, surface to ground missiles with more sensors um, we do have another instrument display panel here just bring you in on there Hopefully you can see very, very nice detail going on there as well. Moving along, right, last couple of sprues here. Um, you know, again, we've got like um, tails and everything on here. Again, very good detail indeed, as you can see. Nice detail going on in there. Um, then we have lots of little pieces and stuff going on here and our landing gear. Right, here's our landing gear looking very, um, you know, rather, shall we say, nicely detailed for out of the box. Right, but when you flip it over, right, we've got a bit of old school errors going on here. We have um, eject pin marks actually on our landing gear going on here. Uh, there's a couple going on the backs of these as well which is something that you're probably going to want to sand out fill in um, which is a bit of a shame um, however we do know that Hazegui their fit is going to be rather rather good you know literally just slots in together All right then we have um, our front nose section here which our nose is sort of already built in it's not one of these where you you know bring the two um, sort of fuse large sections together and then you pop a nose section on it's um, it's all there and the surface detail going on in here is also rather rather good same as everywhere else nice crisp recessed panel lines and um, we've got our air intake um, part just here as well great surface detail we've got some um, uh, wheel wells just here as well the detail in there is looking rather crisp. There's some nice detail in there. Um, you know, it looks rather good for out of the box. Um, moving, turning this over, we do have our um, cockpit area here. Um, we do have eject pin marks inside there, but you're not really going to see them. The detail is, you know, okay for out of the box. Um, you know, but that should build into something rather nice. However, I mean, all these Hazegui kits, I mean, you can get resin this, resin that, photo etch this and that, you know, which is rather, rather cool. Another instrument display panel just here as well for you to look at. As you can see, rather, rather good detail going on there for an out of the box kit. Um, I've not really seen any nasty flash going on with this kit which is rather good uh, air intakes we have you know about three eject pin marks in each one of these um, but you know they might not be too hard they shouldn't be too hard to get them out um, our wheel well doors they're looking rather cool as well but we do have the odd little ejector pin mark going on here and there which is a shame because they can be a bit of a pain to get them out of our wheel well doors and then we got some more wheel way uh, wheel well doors going on up here which actually look rather more detailed than ones up the top there but we also have eject pin marks and we have them in some nasty places as well hopefully you can just see we've got this lovely sort of detail and right inside there we've got little ejector pin marks now getting in there to fill that and sand that is rather rather tricky you you know it is going to take a bit of work to get them out so that's a little bit of a shame but you know it is looking rather nicely detailed we have our top of our fuselage section just here as well again all the detail is um, the same as everywhere else nice crisp we have some wheel well detail just here as well and this is looking rather rather good inside there nice detail very very crisp i mean you can even see some nice bits of wiring going on in there which um, really is you know some good molding going on inside there to be honest um, but you know a bit of scratch building there can make that look even nicer to be honest so that is all of the sprues we're just gonna bring out our um 
canopy just here now with the canopy we do have a very nice clear crystal clear canopy going on we do have the seam line going down the middle um, but to be totally honest um, in my experience if you've got a seam line going down the middle the more crystal clear the actual canopy is uh, if you don't have this seam line they can be not so clear a bit wavy and um, ripply and um, you know these are normally like the best canopies the ones with the seam lines down the middle um, but yeah they are looking rather rather good nice and crystal clear now this kit does cost £59.99 here in the UK so it is a rather expensive expensive kit um, and some and it really does vary on the different types um, of Hazagewi version well different reboxes of this um, FA18 or should I say it's not an FA18 sorry it's an EA18 but um, the different versions that can really vary in prices which is um, you know I think it's a bit of a shame really how i mean some of them can be like 75 pounds so they can get rather expensive um but then that's what the price you pay for hazard gary because we know hazard gary kits are going to fit together like a glove lovely surface detail um now this kit was actually released february 2015 so this particular one the zappers one um, is a nice brand new release um so overall i would say this um, has a Gary kit here we have of the growler is a very very um, well detailed um, very crisp kit which is going to fit together really really good and you've got all those lovely weapons and sensor pods and everything so it's going to build into a really really um, nice display piece sadly the um, the price is a little bit so we say overpriced uh but if you want to build the best um ea ea 18 then you know has a has a is the one you want to get so uh, all in all you know it's definitely a well recommended kit here at genesis models so um i hope you've enjoyed this inbox review so until next time my name is bobby waldron this is genesis models and i hope you've enjoyed <laughs>